Phone number still. Oh, I may as well give it out again. It's 877-379-8888. Now, no one knows at this time who's responsible for the bombs in Boston. Yesterday, the president made a point of not calling it terror. Today, he did. His former campaign aide, now commentator at MSNBC, says probably related to tax day. Another bunch of people, a whole bunch of people from the left are saying, well, you know, it was Patriot's Day. It's Patriot. One guy actually said it's Patriot. Somebody at Slate or Salon or some such place. Let me find where. Uh, Might have been somebody at CNN. Let me separate the uh, papers here. Some guy named uh, Paul Fisher. Today's Patriot's Day. Important day to militia movements. In our country, the same day Tim McVeigh chose to bomb Oklahoma City. These tweets and these items of speculation are all over Twitter and Facebook and the mainstream media. And nobody knows at this time who's responsible. At least if they do know, they haven't said so. In, and in, in a vacuum like this, you're going to have all kinds of people try to fill it. So if they say they don't know who it is, you're going to have people, oh, yes, they do. They know exactly who it is. And because of the political nature of these people, they're going to hold the information until they can make it as useful to them as possible. Now, whether that's right or wrong, the fact that a, a large enough number of people think that is, an, is a testament to how politicized virtually everything in this country has become. Nobody knows at this time who's responsible for the bombs in Boston, who planned, who executed the act of terror. Where did the terrorists come from? Are they Americans? Did they come from somewhere else? How'd they get here? Student visa is an avenue being discussed. What are we going to do if we find out that one or more terrorists crossed our border undetected? What are we going to do? What are we going to do if we find out that it is al-Qaeda? What are we going to do if we find out it's, it's, it's a homegrown domestic terror? I had a bunch of people send me emails. You know, Rush... By the way, the Oklahoma City bombing was April 19th, not the 15th. So this whole Patriot's Day comparison, Timothy McVeigh, is, is all wet anyway. But I've, I've got a whole list. I've got sound bites here of people speculating on the fact that it's a right-wing Tea Party group that did this. Just like every other act of terror, the mainstream media doesn't wait. They start launching. I just I'm I'm making a point of this because I don't want anybody accusing me of politicizing this. What do I do here? I simply get up every day. I look at and I absorb. I see the people, the traditions, the institutions I believe in under assault and I stand up and defend them. How do you do that, Mr. Limbaugh? Well, I'll give you an example. Has anybody blamed a video for this? What is that? Is that too impolitic to say? The president didn't blame a video for this? Really? Like he did in Benghazi? There's not a video that worked somebody up into a frenzy that caused this? Mr. Limbo, why are you think? I'm, 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 hey, I'm just joining the circus here. I didn't lead off with this stuff. How about this? You know, this is how Bill Ayers got his start. Bill Ayers is now responsible for educating American kids. He got his start blowing up the Pentagon. Ditto his wife, Kathy or uh, Bernadine Dorn. We just learned that Kathy Bowden or Bowden, who murdered what a cop, she's now a professor at Columbia. So could we say that whoever did this has just helped their effort to get hired by a major university? Could we? I mean, it's how, it's how Bill Ayers got his start. It's how Kathy Bowden got her start. 
There are a bunch of celebrated Americans today, former terrorists, Bill Ayers, Kathy Bowden, any number of them who began this just this way, and they are now heralded, they are exalted. The left politicizes everything. But is it untrue to say that this is how Bill Ayers got his start? No. Is it untrue to point out that a professor at Columbia did something similar to this? It was a resume enhancement, apparently, for the American university system. So don't be surprised. So if the left politicizes everything, which they do and which we've documented and which I have further documentation for in this incident now, is it reasonable to ask how might the left be calculating this incident to be of the greatest use to them? Because everything to them is politics. And the evidence of that is how quickly they launched into trying to blame people like us, folks, who I'm simply showing up here and defending. The bunch of people are being maligned, impugned, character assassinated or assaulted today. We had nothing to do with this. We don't know who did it. 